Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to create this outline shader using Unity Shader Graph and the custom renderer feature with custom HLSL script. Let's start with scripting part. First, create a script and name it Outline Renderer Feature. We're going to make a custom volume component, like this. Add parameters, like this. Create a new class in the same script and name it Outline Renderer Feature. Now add these lines to the new class that we just created. Add these lines to the same class. Also add these lines to the same class. Add these lines also. Now create a new class on the Outline Render Feature class and name it Outline Render Pass. Now copy all these lines into that class. Lastly, copy these lines into the same class. We are done with the scripting part. Now let's add our custom renderer feature. Go to your settings folder and click on URP High Fidelity Renderer. Click on Add Renderer Feature and locate Outline Renderer Feature. Now change injection point to after rendering transparency and requirements to everything. Now click on Global Volume on Hierarchy. Click on Add Override and then Yami. And then Outline. It does not do anything because we have not created our shader yet. Now, Let's look at our custom HLSL script. Copy this code and save it and name it include.hlsl or include.cginc. I saved the include file right here. Now let's create our shader. Now right click, create shader graph subgraph. Name it Sobel filter. Double click to open it. Press space on your keyboard and search custom function. Now click on the source of the custom function and then select our include file that we created. Change the name to outline. It's showing an error, but we are going to fix it. Now click on precision and change it to single. Scroll down and add a float parameter to the output section. Name it out. Now add texture 2D parameter to input section and name it text. Add another vector 2 parameter and name it UV. Add a float parameter and name it thickness. Now error is gone. Connect out of the custom function to the output vector as follows. Now click on that plus button and add texture 2D parameter and name it texture. Add a vector 2 parameter and name it UV. Lastly add a float parameter and name it thickness. Assign all the parameter to the custom function node. Save the subgraph and let's continue. Let's go to Project Folder. Now right click, Create, Shader Graph URP, Full Screen Shader Graph. Name it Outline. You can see in the game window that our shader is being applied. Now double click to open the outline shader. Click on the plus icon to create new color parameter and name it outline color. Now add a float parameter and name it depth threshold. Add another float parameter and name it normal threshold. Now add a texture 2D parameter and name it depth. 
Add another texture 2D parameter and name it normal. Press space on your keyboard and search for Sobel filter that we just created. Now drag and drop the depth parameter and connect to the Sobel filter node. Now add a UV node and connect to the Sobel filter node. Now add a float node to the Sobel filter node. Now change float value to 0.001. Now we can check the output by connecting the output to the base of the master node. You can see the outline is being drawn in the game window. Let's continue. Now drag and drop the depth threshold, and then add one minus node. Add a remap node and connect one minus node to it. Change the remap values as follows. Add a step node and connect output of Sobel filter to it. Now connect remap node to step node. You can change values on the global volume in the hierarchy. Let's group it so it can be organized and name it depth outline. Now we're going to do the same for the normal outline. Drag and drop normal parameter and connect it to the Sobel filter node. Now add UV node and connect it to the Sobel filter node. Add a float parameter and also connect it to the Sobel filter node. Change float parameter value to 0.001. Let's test this and see how it looks. It looks like this. Now add a step node and connect it to the Sobel filter node. Drag and drop normal threshold parameter and add one minus node to it. Now add a remap node and connect it. Connect remap node to step node. Now change remap values as follows. Now you can change the value through the global volume in the hierarchy. Let's group this and name it normal outline. Now connect those two nodes using maximum node. Let's see how this looks. Look at that crisp and clean outline. Now let's complete this shader. Add a lerp node and connect it to the maximum node. Connect lerp out value to base of the master node.
drag and drop outline color parameter and connect it to B of the LERP node. Save it and now you can change the color of the outline through global volume in the hierarchy. Final step now add a URP sample buffer and connect it to A of LERP node. Don't forget to change the source of the URP sample buffer to blitz source. Save it and now shader is ready to test. Now you can play with values and use this shader wherever you like. If you want a more detailed video about this, then comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.